Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. If you guys are watching the channel, you know I just upgraded my Tiny SA to the Tiny SA Ultra, the big boy, which means it doesn't fit in my Tiny SA and Nano VNA Go Kit, and that gives me an opportunity to make another Go Kit. Oh, I love making Go Kits. Let's get over to the workbench and figure out what we can do. In the past, I have had this Nano VNA and Tiny SA Go Kit that has all of my stuff included in it. It has an attenuator, it has adapters and calibration standards, it has the cables and the USB charging cable, and then the original USB charging cables that I never even took out of their rubber bands. You can still see that they're in their rubber bands in there. I should probably get rid of these. That's gonna be too hard to do. We'll put them back in the bag and we'll save these for another future decision time. Today's not the day to make this decision. But that is my Tiny SA and Nano VNA go kit for the original small size units, these two little size units. Now we have a dilemma because I have the Tiny SA Ultra Spectrum Analyzer, which is bigger than the original Tiny SA and would mean one bag for this kit. And that's not a bad deal. I mean, it, it fits, it's nice. I'll leave a link to this kit down below and to all of the ingredients for this one. But we've got a couple of new things to look at for these kits. So first off, I am going to need more of those little mesh bags. So I ordered some more mesh bags. And these look like they're a little bit bigger, but that's, that's fine, because we have more stuff to store. And then I have this case here, which will hold the Tiny SA very nicely. And there's actually still room for the attenuator that I need. Now I have something new. We're gonna do a video on this coming up here soon. But this is what's called a DC block. And this will block DC voltage from being introduced into the Tiny SA when you're doing your test. Just like the Nano VNA, the Tiny SA comes with a whole bunch of stuff. And so I need to get all of that stuff stored. Our union, and we have our jumper wires, and we have our unassembled, undisassembled, there we go, that's the word. We have our undisassembled USB A to C cable, which might need to get disassembled in order to fit into this bag, but we'll leave it out for now because we still have other stuff. We have a stylus antenna. So those will all fit in there, and then they will fit up here without losing any of your parts. So now we have another go kit for our tiny SA. And I wasn't really sure what color I would want it in. So I also got blue and red. They're all pretty nice. So there you go. We've got our attenuator tiny SA and all of its bits and bobs and the new DC block. And now everything's protected, sweet. But wait, there's more. In my old kit, I have a Nano VNA. And because I have a big, tiny SA, now I need to have a big Nano VNA. And this one comes from our friends over at CC and also has a bunch of accessories and accoutrement that need to be taken care of. So we're gonna get out another one of those mesh bags and fill it full of gear. We have our calibration standards, our open short load, our OSL, if I can get it out of the container. This is why this is not a good container for this. I mean, it's beautiful to have it you know, shipped to you in, but it's kind of a pain to work with on a daily basis. And I'm being very gentle with the pliers so as not to mar the delicate SMA threads. There goes our OSL. Can I get that out without a tool? Oh, there goes our union. There is our, we'll put that on later. Unwrapped, they gave us two. That's why I have so many. This one comes with a longer A to C cable and a shorter C to C cable, both of those in there. And then we have a stylus and I still wish that there was a way, get out of there, to shove the stylus in here like, you know, 1990s Windows CE box or something. Stylus can go in there. And then lastly, we have our jumper leads and our instructions, but who needs instructions? So we can do the same thing. We can take, I'm gonna use the red one. We can take the red one and we can put our test instrument on one side and we can put our jumper leads and our bag of goodies on the other side. Okay, so now I have my tiny SA and my Nano VNA kit. Very nice. And a leftover kit for something else. I guess I'm gonna to need to get a nice QRP radio or something. But wait, there's more. Every so often, something comes along that is amazing and cannot be denied its amazingness. And this is one of those things. This is a 3D printed case. It looks like a mini version of those Apache cases or Pelican cases. And it has spots inside for the stuff that you would find interesting if you were a Nano VNA user. A little hole there to pick it up. 
and there are some magnets to hold it in place when you put it in. And this will work for either the Nano VNA H, the little one, or the Nano VNA H4, which is this big boy here. So let's get our stuff out of the one kit and into the new kit. These test leads go around the outside and then there is a spot there for the stylus and the stylus snaps in place. And then we have room for our test standards. And if you are the kind of person that carries an adapter with you, like one of these guys here, an SO239 to BNC or an SO239 to SMA, then this would be a great place for that. That in there, and that closes up nice. And you can, of course, put your USB cables in there as well. And then this guy goes down like so. And one of the things that Jared includes with this is cushions, which will also hold your device in place while you're walking around town with this thing in your pocket. And it's kind of important the way that you put these on. The adhesive goes up towards the lid. So it just kind of sits there until you close the lid and then they stick in place in the right spot. There we go. And now my pads are put up nice and tight on the top there. And we are good to go. And you can get this customized with whatever text you wanna have on here. I put Nano VNA and my call sign on there. This is not thick enough. There's not enough room in here for the extra thick Tiny SA Ultra, but there's plenty of room in there for the Nano VNA H4 model that is here. Very nice, very nice. One of the things I can see myself doing here is taking and relieving a little notch in the side of the case. That would allow me to have this thing out here as a little lanyard for the case itself. Very nice. And it comes with all of the hardware. It comes pre-built just like you see it here, minus your Nano VNA of choice, either the H or the H4, the small one or the big one. And it is a very well-built case. I'm digging it. All right, we have options, we have options. We have red, black, and blue. I think there's another color, but I got the three pack because I needed at least two. And I think it was actually cheaper to get the three pack than it was to buy two individually because that's kind of the way the, the jungle market works. Tiny SA, Nano VNA, inside of two EVA hard cases. And I like these cases a lot. They're, uh, they're not rigid and, and unyielding on the sides, but at the same time, they're also unyielding enough to protect your gear. And these will shove down nicely inside of a larger go pack. So this will go inside of my backpack or it will go inside of another radio kit. My old Tiny SA Nano VNA kit lives inside my IC705 Go bag. It sits right on top of the radio. There's a cloth between the touch screen on the radio and the EVA case for the Nano and the Tiny. And I carry that with me because the 705 doesn't have a useful SWR analyzer or an antenna tuner. I also carry an antenna tuner, but that's where it lives because that's the radio that I need it the most with. So now I have these guys here. What do you think? Do you like these two better? Or do you like the custom 3D printed case with your call sign embedded in the plastic? This thing, this thing is fantastic. It's got a nice textured front end to it. And then the sides are done very, very well. The, the, the guy that prints this, Jared, knows what he is doing. There will be links to all of this gear down below. Leave a comment. Let me know which one you think is the better kit to have. And we'll come back and check on a couple of days and see who the winner is. I think this is pretty cool that we have these kinds of options and I love that people are making stuff like this. I can't wait till Jared makes a Tiny SA Ultra case that matches this and then I can get one of those in red with Tiny SA and my call sign on it. For some of the gear in this video, there is also a discount code in the description down below. There's a video right over here I think you might enjoy next while you're waiting for stuff to show up from the jungle market. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.